Patras, since its foundation in the 11th century BC, was one of the most important commercial and naval centers of Greece. The city's first port was created about 3,000 years ago in Patras's eastern coastal region, in the place where the famous Church of St. Andrew is located today. During the Frank occupation period, the port was moved to the point where the Magna Ruga ended, today's St. Nicholas Street. In this way, the port was at a straight line with the city's castle and under its protection. In the 19th century, after the Turkish occupation period, Patras began operating again as a transit trade center with raisins as the main export product. The construction of the new harbor by French engineers was completed in 1889. Meanwhile, from the mid-19th century, Patras had been established as the main Greek export and import trade center connecting with the West. New port works began in 1930. By 1940, the entire coastal area had turned into a vast construction site. After the 1950s up to nowadays, more works for the expansion and modernization of the port were gradually being implemented. After 2000, the role of the port has been upgraded significantly. Today, Patras's port consists of the passenger port, which handles a significant percentage of maritime traffic between Greece and other countries, making it the western gateway of the country. At the same time, the port provides important services as a commercial port and a freight harbor. Today, modernization and improvement works at the old port have been completed, as well as the infrastructure works at the new, southern port on Octi de Mayon coast. In 2011, the new, southern port of Patras has become operable for the itineraries between Patras and Italy. It has a 1,000 meters platform length and long breakwaters of 1,350 meters. The southern port serves both passengers and vehicles. It covers an area of 250,000 square meters, while its infrastructures cover 6,974 square meters. It is easily accessible from the broad bypass of Patras, Athens, Thessaloniki Highway, following the Glofkos exit. The terminal station includes reception and information areas, Wi-Fi, waiting rooms, coffee, bar, restaurant and kitchens, stores, offices, agencies, and many auxiliary rooms. The old northern port of Patras serves tour and cruise boats, as well as domestic lines. At the same time, the old northern port currently receives the bulk of commercial activity. The port capacity can afford mercantile ships up to 25,000 registered tons and passenger ferry ships up to 16,000 registered tons and up to 330 meters length. It has four main piers and wharfs of approximately 3,000 meters total length. Patras Port Authority's facilities, equipment and staff at the Old North Port cater to cargo handling. At the southeast part of the port, there's a fish pier. Next to the fish pier, there is a custom service area handling imported and exported goods. A pollution response service with corresponding vessel and equipment operates within the port, as well as a liquid and solid ship waste pickup service that operates 24-7, serving both northern and southern port facilities. Water supply and fire protection is provided as within the port. There is a fire brigade station and also a fire brigade boat. At the middle concrete pier of the northern port facility, a seaplane station is to be constructed. The port of Patras aspires to become a major cruise destination. The area has comparative competitive advantages and unique characteristics for cruise and yachting tourism, while offering opportunities for many alternate forms of tourism. Patras is the largest financial, commercial, and cultural center of Peloponnese and Western Greece. 
Over its four millennia history, Patras has been a cosmopolitan center of the Mediterranean, whilst, according to Christian tradition, is the place of the martyrdom of St. Andrew, patron saint of the city. The Old Northern Port provides the appropriate infrastructure for the reception of cruise ships, a passenger station of 3,000 square meters, with lounge, baggage lockers, cafe and restaurants, duty-free shop, bus and taxi station for passengers' transport, and all the necessary equipment and facilities. At the northeast part of Patras's northern port, there is a marina which can serve up to 450 boats. At the south part of the marina, there is a recreation area including an open theater, a playground and a bar. Patras Port Authority is an organism in constant connection with the community, affecting and being affected by the region and area, as well as a basic structural element of the social and economic net of the city. Patras Port Authority contributes decisively to the local economy by creating thousands of jobs, thus contributing significantly to the total local employment. The authority's strategy focuses on maintaining and strengthening its leading position among the ports of Western Greece as main and basic country portal towards Europe. Its entrance to the tourist market by its designation as a tourist port. Expanding into new markets and activities, seaplanes, LNG station, etc. Cooperating with business entities for development relations and joint actions to support local entrepreneurship and extroversion in the region. Expansion of commercial activity, development of container handling, etc. The Port of Patras is among the ports of international interest and is part of the Central European Transport Network. It is also certified by ISO 9001 and ISO 14001. The Port of Patras is the main gateway of Greece to Europe and one of the most modern ports in the Mediterranean. It also plays an important role in the economic life of the city, Western Greece and the country in general. <laughs>